the men's purpose myth. How men reach for purpose to gain more pip purpose to attain, gain the things they want, yet in all of that, you're making a tragic mistake. All right, so the other day during my jujitsu class, I recorded this video on purpose and oftentimes when we're mopping the mats, we usually have some sort of philosophical discussion or maybe a completely meaningless discussion when we're doing that. But we were talking about purpose and I wanted to make a video that was just like a one or two minute clip, especially because I wanna put out more content for you guys, but, Yesterday, I put out that male suicide video, which there are more videos on that coming out, but they're heavier edits than this one. And I realized, man, there's an audience of guys I'm speaking to. I mean, you know, one of you dudes spitting blood out there, I'm talking to you or underdog. Man, I appreciated that video. And it was like, man, I want to explain these things so you guys get it. So I basically promised myself that I would reshoot the intro to this. We'll cut to the one of after I was mopping the mats, only like a minute and a half long. And I would be able to edit it super quick and it wouldn't take away any of the time from all of my other projects that I'm doing because there's so many of them to explain this purpose myth thing. And the reason for that is, is so many guys get it wrong and you get stuck in men's development and you never get the help you need, but it takes you two months or three months or a year to realize you kind of ended up on the wrong path. And when you end up on the wrong path and you're two months into it, it's really hard to backtrack or even see where you went wrong. So let's get to this. So purpose, whenever you get a group of men together, they're gonna to talk about four things. They're gonna talk about dating and relationships, sex, all that sort of stuff. They're gonna talk about being in shape and getting healthy and the best diets and workout programs and so on. They're gonna talk about money, career, entrepreneurship, all that sort of stuff. And they're gonna talk about drive, purpose, ambition, your life's meaning and all these different things. And when we explore this, because in our groups like Men's Development Excellence, you can actually take an eight week, well, it's actually a 12 week course on purpose and ambition, which really dials this in, which they are two different things, okay? So purpose is kind of the meaning and function of your life. Ambition is the drive and your pursuit to do better. But when we get into purpose, we really discuss this phenomenon because so many guys sit there and say, I need to have more purpose, I need to have more meaning so I could start the business, so I could get in shape, so I could be a better dad, so I could do all this sort of stuff. And if I just had that meaning dialed in, I could accomplish and achieve the things that will make me happy. Let's rewind that for a minute. In order for us to be happy, we need to accomplish certain things. Usually those things are influenced by society. So if I'm unhappy, I think that, man, if I'm a better dad, you know, I'll be happier. And that's a pretty healthy thing to think. You know, society would agree that's good. If I wanna be happier, I need to make more money. I need to have a better job. I need more streams of income coming in. I need to be a leader. I need to be somebody who has status, who is on top of the world and all these different things. So in order for me to be happy, I need to have a whole bunch of stuff. Money, good dad, entrepreneur, awesome body, like everything dialed in, right? It's a lot of things. Now, happiness is a human phenomenon that is very simple to have, meaning usually the less stimuli we have, the less pressure we have, the more we default to happiness. Now, of course, on the flip side of this, if you're massively depressed and if you're in one of these modes, you usually excise yourself from society so much and isolate to the point where you do have less stimuli. But then you start to create your own stimuli and you get involved in online BS and it's kind of where everybody is right now with all their political discussions. It's kind of stupid. So happiness isn't really dependent on us having more things. Our fulfillment isn't dependent upon us having more things. Now this brings us to a whole different argument and perhaps another video. Things aren't bad, but learning to have things is where our problem lies. We're not gonna dive in there just yet, but here's a little saying that we get in recovery. It's not about getting what you want, it's about wanting what you have. So let's rewind back to this purpose dynamic. The idea of purpose is, is that I get all this meaning so I can get all this stuff so I could finally be happy. Whereas the problem is, is really that we're not happy. We are not fulfilled. Sure, we might be happy with our job or happy with our family or happy with all these different things, but there's a part of us that wants more. And because there's a part of us that wants more, we think, 
what society says is going to make us happy is going to make us happy. So that's money, more women, more, 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 a whole bunch of stuff. You hear me say this over and over again in videos. And so usually our driver for purpose and ambition is really an insecurity of wanting more. And this is where we screw ourselves up. So hopefully you follow me here. Basically, we want to be fulfilled and happy, so we want more. We look to society of what it says is going to make us happy, which is like big houses and yachts and chicks, or you know, maybe it's like a really strong family and people respecting us and adoration and all this sort of stuff. Our goals and our drivers, our purpose and our ambition, our driver, is hijacked by our insecurities of wanting more. In fact, our purpose and our ambition is hijacked by what society says is going to make us happy. Now, just like I said, happiness, if we have less stimuli and all this sort of stuff, is our default state. Okay, and if you don't understand that right now, that's fine. We can explain it another time. But generally, maybe a good way to look at that is, is our misery is usually a reaction to some specific qualities of our life. Like if we're unpopular or we're picked on, that stimulates misery. But if we weren't picked on, if we were just existing, we would have happiness or we would have some sort of contentment with how we were and not recognize that there was a problem. God, I always feel so weird explaining all of this. You know, if you just joined my courses, you would really get all of this because it's all dialed in and there's a whole community around it. And, pretty awesome. In fact, we made some improvements to men's development excellence, and it's even more affordable to jump in on that. Now, if you live in the local Austin group, it's still really expensive because we have meetups and events and all sorts of stuff like that. There's a plane coming in. It's all these South by Southwest people coming in. That's happening right now, so it's not fun to leave my house because there's just traffic everywhere. Oh my God, man. This is in short, I really do hope. I edit this properly that's so just like happiness purpose is one of our default things that man didn't need much to have meaning his drive was to do things find things to understand more to have certain things gain meaning in his life and if you look at biology and psychology and the studies of this which I am not a biologist or psychologist but I like to read those guys you see this in fact one of the best examples of this is in a book about addiction which I love called the biology of desire why addiction is not a disease I do think it's a disease and my argument for being a, it being a disease doesn't really conflict with Mark Cohen's argument for it not Anyway, whatever, we could talk about it more at some other point. But you should read that book because it talks about the biology and the human makeup of what gives us drive, meaning, and purpose. You know, our ambition and our purpose. And then this brings it back to what we learn <laughs> in my school of thought, which is in order to first have purpose, we need to have function. So what is my mind, my body, my sex drive, my social drivers, how do they need to be fulfilled and what we were born to be so that they don't have a deficit, so they don't have an insecurity around it. Because if they have an insecurity around it, I'm going to reach for the quick, most easy accessible thing, which I think is gonna make me happy, which is what society says, like money, sex, power, or whatever you wanna call it. And that's what I'm gonna go for, for happiness. And then I'm gonna get it and I'm never gonna be fulfilled. And I'm gonna keep filling this, filling this, filling this, thinking that I'm on top because I have little wins all over the place. And yet I never build a sense of self. Man, this may sound really complex. So I, I'm just gonna stop. I, I realize this is taking way, way, way too long. And uh, it is gonna take me a long time to edit it, but I will get it up today, especially for you guys. And I will never do this again. I'm gonna keep my one minute, two minute vlogs to one minute, two minute vlogs. But if you really do wanna understand this seriously, like check out our programs, look at Men's Development Excellence. It's down below. We have courses on this, which will take you through it. And when guys go through it, they do achieve a true value of purpose and ambition. They understand what meaning is and they get to the heart of that and they don't confuse it with our insecurities driving us further and further, just wanting more. Meaning that we can have purpose and fulfillment as men no matter what social, societal, cultural situation we're put in. Don't get me wrong, man. Society can be hard and it can break you in a lot of ways, but the stronger you are, it starts mattering less and less of what's in front of you in order to achieve happiness, fulfillment, and purpose. Let's cut to the gym where I did the original video. Yo, yo, what's up, Austin Development? It's Steve Maeda here. We're uh, 
wrapping up a jujitsu class, which is so full. Um, hey, I wanted to talk about purpose because we were we were talking about this as we were mopping up the mats, and it's something that a lot of men talk about, and it's something that I got a lot of opinions about in terms of what a farce it is. See, we always think of purpose as this meaning that's going to propel us and to take care of our insecurities and all this sort of stuff. Like, like if I just had the right purpose, I could finally accomplish all the things I want. And I just realized I can't go outside because the exposure is going to change. So I got to stay here, Dave. Oh, shit. Sorry. Anyway, no, it's my bad. But so, so basically, like, we all want to gain more meaning in our lives so that we could do more and accomplish more. Why do we need to do more and accomplish more? Is this something that is really within us that's a driver? You know, what is, what is it that we want? We want to be more popular. We want to be more famous. We want to make more money. We want to have more women. We want to have more of all this stuff. But what is going to make us happy is the foundation within ourselves. And so when our life is functioning, one of the definitions of purpose, like what's the purpose of your hand or your eye is to function in a certain way. But when it stops functioning, we need meaning to carry that. And that's where we're at with our lives and our passions. And it's a sad way to live. So the main thing here is, is man, find function in the simple things in your life, the born to be qualities like sleeping right, eating right, having good relationships, talking with people and building up those skills rather than searching for society to define yourself. Because when you do that, you're never going to be successful. You're never going to be happy. You're never going to be fulfilled. Good. Good. All right. We're good. I'm out.